This is the Off Grid Knives Scorpion. Off Grid Knives is a company uh, based in California. It's uh, uh, a gentleman named Kerry. He was, uh, I spoke with him on episode 164 of the Knife Junkie podcast. Great guy. He designs all the knives. He has them made. He markets them. He gets them in people's hands. And uh, yeah, he's basically a one-man band. Uh, I know he has some help, but uh, on the whole, he's the designer and he has these things made and he has them sent out and... Uh, yeah, they do an awesome job. Uh, just not for nothing. Um, my father, uh, after the interview, bought a couple of knives from him. One for me, one for my brother, and one for himself. And they got to us in like two days. So <laughs> that was pretty cool. Anyway, Off Grid Knives, uh, great company. Uh, Kerry has uh, the top manufacturer, some top manufacturers making his knives. Now this is uh, part of their elite line. They have a couple of tiers of uh, products and this is their elite or top of the line and uh they're designed by Kerry and manufactured by we knife we knives so if you like the design you know the pedigree of we knives you know it's going to be a great knife and uh well just so happens i love this design excuse me uh i've been carrying this uh since i got it a couple of weeks back i've been carrying this Mm, I don't want to say every single day, but it has been a go-to. It has been a great knife to have uh, kind of sitting on my dresser. And I'm like, today, I'm not thinking about it. I'm grabbing it. And I will just grab this and run. This has been going on for, for a couple of weeks. And uh, <laughs> it's, got, it's got a couple of things that I haven't been so much into lately. It's a, it's a titanium frame lock, frame lock flipper. And you know me, I like... I like titanium, I like frame locks. I've been veering a, a bit away from bearings and kind of uh, kind of gotten rid of a lot of my flippers. And uh, so on paper, I, I didn't think that this, and it's got carbon fiber and I'm not a huge carbon fiber fan. So on paper, this was not, I was not expecting uh, this to, to, uh, to, for me to gravitate to this as much as I do. Um, I find it incredibly, Good looking, which you know uh, to me is a is definitely an important factor, but it has a lot of other things. It's almost a four inch blade, which I love. I love the bigger bigger knives. You know, it's it's uh, three and three quarters, maybe a little bit more than that. Uh, it's got this beautiful grind. It's it's an aggressive clip point. That's what I call it. Some people might call it a reverse tanto, but you know, I say leave the building with your reverse tanto talk. To me, that's a clip point blade. And it's a pretty aggressive uh, uh, clip point, and I, I really like it. I'm going to work in some comparisons here. I really like it. It reminds me a bit of the old uh, LCC from Microtech, just that blade shape, which I would call this a clip point also. Uh, we might have an argument about it, but I don't know. To me, that's what it is. And same here. I really uh, find this uh, shape to be kind of a... a um, uh, a great balance, a magical balance. You have a bit of a flat here, but it's, uh, you've got almost a continuous belly. And uh, then you have a very, very stout, but fine point. I mean, that point, you can, you can do a lot of uh, fine work with that, like uh, splinter gouging or that kind of thing. Uh, but it's a very, very strong tip. And I think it has to do with the mass here, maybe that cross section. I don't know, I'm no geometrist. Uh, and then over here, we got this beautiful jimping and thumb ramp. And something that I really like is a dip after a thumb ramp uh, as you move forward towards the tip. Now, I'm going to bring in another comparison, and I've spoken about this a bit on the podcast and maybe in other videos. Uh, but anyway, I like that little swale there that your thumb can fit in when you're riding way up on the blade. So another knife... Um, that I immediately thought of when I got this in hand was the SOCOM, the Microtech SOCOM uh, Elite. This one is like a 2013, I think. And when I put them next to each other, yes, they look nothing alike, really. And, um, uh, you know, they, they have carbon fiber inlays. They have that in common. Um, but when they're not together, they remind me of one another. Now, to me, the, uh, well, the, the SOCOM is a blade-heavy knife, or it's, it's balanced kind of right exactly at the pivot. Um, and it just feels light towards the end, and, and partially because it's 
aluminum. Also, it's not lined and also it's tapered. So there's less material back here. So to me, uh, this knife always has a weight forward feel, but the angularity of this handle um, belies its comfort. You know, you look at it and it looks like it might be a little angular, but it feels amazing in hand. And that's, that's what's happening here. Uh, it's sort of this, uh, you know, faceted angular design, but it's also extremely neutral and you get this thing in hand and uh, it feels great. And it's got a somewhat long deep carry pocket clip. My, my initial reaction to this was, oh, that's a long clip, especially compared to uh, the two other off grids I had had uh, in hand at that point. This is the Black Stallion. And then also you got the, uh, uh, the Sea Dog, which has an even smaller clip. And I was expecting something more like that on, uh, on the Scorpion. But as you can see, it's, it's quite a bit longer. But ergonomically, it works beautifully uh, in hand. You, you, you don't notice it at all. Sometimes I find deep carry pocket clips, especially as the as it starts to um, um, rise up towards the fold over part, uh, it starts to bite into the hand here. I don't get any of that with this, and I I think that's due to the length, and um, you get really really great um, uh, retention with this. But it's so smooth, and you know it's I I've I've been wearing this the last couple of days. Uh, it, I've been putting on the same pair of bum around the house pants, uh, and, uh, you know, after work and putting this in there and the pockets are just so mangled and chewed up. Uh, but this didn't even pull threads out. Usually I'll pull a, uh, a, a knife clip out or a knife out and under the clip the, there will be threads from those pockets of that particular pair of pants. This nothing. It's gentle. Uh, but, but the pants are the, you know, it's, it's threadbare and super thin and this still retains very well in that. So a uh, great pocket clip, great handle. Uh, the ergonomics are just awesome. I mean, this isn't, not that you're going to be using this for a reverse chest pull, you know, uh, whatever you call it, woods kind of cutting, but if you needed to, it feels great like that. And of course it feels awesome in reverse grip. You have this nice flat top for you to cap with a slight angle there, your thumb to hook over the top and uh, fits right in the hand. So this is, uh, <laughs> fits right in the hand, fits right in the hand uh, very nicely for reverse grip is what I'm trying to say. Uh, this is an S35VN blade, um, saber ground. So that's a flat grind from, I don't know, three quarters of the way up. Uh, that beautiful swedge, it's very nice and sharp. Um, I haven't yet uh, stropped or done anything with it. And uh, I actually cleaned it up right before I rolled this because it had a bunch of tape and crap on it. And I was like, oh, I'll leave it on to show I've been using it. And then I thought, oh, just that very thought makes it cheesy. So uh, I cleaned it. I know a lot of people on their videos will pop open a knife and there will be stuff there. And uh, to me, I always know it's, well, like with some people, I always know it's legit because they actually uh, you know, use their knives a lot. Um, beautiful sort of uh, um, uh, special pivot. I don't want to say custom, but you know, it's a neat looking sort of, uh, what do you call it? Unique looking pivot. It echoes the uh, maker's mark there, off grid. I think it might even say elite. It says elite there. Off grid, beautifully um, inlaid handles. And you know, this is a Wii knife. And, and uh, actually right now, I have no Wii knives in my collection except the... Uh, the niche designs ingress this was uh, this is a prototype this was also made by uh we knives and you know i've had a number of others uh come and go through here and man alive they just they can really make a knife and um just the the feeling of engineering by the way i think this is such a great design i cannot wait till nick rogers comes out with another uh another design. I think it's going to be a gentleman's folder. Uh, but in any case, uh, the Wii build is just uh, tremendous, solid. Uh, there's an attention to detail that you don't get on a lot of different knives. Uh, on this one in particular, this is not uh, hollowed out on the inside for lightness. And I like it. It's a little weighty. It's got a little bit of weight to it, but I mean, it's lighter than... Uh, I, don't, I actually have no idea what it weighs. And this is not something... I'm fond of doing, you won't see it frequently, but I guess I started talking about weight. And I I, I, I feel like it's substantial in hand because it doesn't have a bunch of 
weight reduction inside, but it's pretty light. Yeah, four and an eight. To me, that's very, very light. Uh, also with this, uh, you have the pocket clip uh, with the little notch. I love that, you know, it just stops it from when the, even when the screws come loose from it moving around. Uh, only thing is, is that this, the, the thing that would, that would push this over. I mean, now I'm, I'm picking nits here, but you know, when I see that, I think, why not, why not just countersink those screws a little bit, uh, so that you don't, you know, this this has taken it so far, and you see this with a lot of great companies. It's like that they take everything so far, and uh, but that's a, one little one little detail that uh, can kind of be a buzzkill because those those two screws there over and over going over the same gnarled up uh, pant seams. Those will those will undo the greatness of this slickness and this tension and all that uh, just by you know attrition. But you know, again, that's me picking nits because to me this is a this is a damn near well. I'm I'm not gonna use that word, but this is a fantastic knife and and uh, very very compelling to me uh, since I've gotten it. I've just been putting it in my pocket and and happy with it all day long. And not for nothing, it's a great you know it's great on the action front. So if you uh, if you're Driving in the car, if you're a, a car flipper, that's when I prefer to flip the most because can't do it when I'm watching TV. Or I'll, or I'll, you know, it's rude, let's put it that way. I've been told it's rude. And uh, I'm sure you've all been told it's rude too. Uh, but this is a great flipper, very, very fidgety, very, uh, very solid, great action. It comes out and there's, I don't know, it's, it comes out with authority. Oh, what I was gonna mention, um, one of the other comparisons with the SOCOM, I started to talk about this little dip right after the uh, the thumb ramp goes up and then it kind of goes down a little bit. Uh, to me, it's like a less extreme version of that. And I love that, that little stepped, jimped little bit for your thumb to grab on and like pull back on. Gives you great leverage. And uh, kind of get that here. So a uh, couple of size comparisons. Real, real quick, since everyone in the world seems to know how big these are. I don't know if everyone has one, but they seem to know how big a, a pair of two is. So there it is against your pair of two. So pretty, pretty, uh, pretty nicely sized knife. There it is against a uh, Ritter RSK1, which is also the same size as a full-size Gratillion. So uh, a little bit bigger than both of those classic EDCs. Oh, here's one I've been carrying oh so very much since I got it. Uh, Spartan Harzy, so very similar to the Spartan Harzy in size. As a matter of fact, I would say pretty much, yeah, pretty much dead on, uh, same size there. And uh, here it is with an awesome smaller knife. This is the uh, American Blade Works Model 1 version 5. And this is a three and a quarter inch blade. This is a little big knife to me because three and a quarter inches is small, but but I didn't realize it was three and a quarter until I measured it. I don't know if this plays an optical illusion or uh, or, or what, but I love this knife. Uh, let me compare this also to probably my favorite flipper and one of the few left in my collection, the Riot. Um, K2, such a beautiful knife. I love this version of it. And who is it? Knife Joker? I think it's Knife Joker. Uh, a, a company that I actually had never heard of, an online purveyor I'd never heard of until, uh, until I real I saw that they were doing all of these exclusives with this particular knife and doing all these crazy, beautiful carbon fiber handles. Yes, I said crazy, beautiful carbon fiber, but they're using, you know, fat carbon fiber and all these very unique uh, things to make uh, exclusive handles for this classic. Oh man, this is just such a beautiful knife and 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 exquisite, sublime fish uh, uh, flipping action. I, I honestly don't need or want a flipper smoother than that. I feel like I would be a danger to myself and society with a flipper smoother than that. Um, 
so these are kind of in the same ballpark size wise also and and also feel not so much feel this feels a little bit more substantial than this this with all of its contouring and rounding and then inside it's it's pocketed you know hollowed out can you see that you know what i'm talking about even if you can't see it yeah you can sort of see it um it's lightened so this definitely feels lighter in hand um, this feels like a bit of, I don't know, something you would, you would get issued to you as a space marine in like 2041. This is like, this has that look and feel to me. Um, in any case, uh, I've gone on. I love this knife. I think it's awesome. Uh, the off-grid Scorpion Elite. It also comes with a black tumbled finish and a third finish, which I forget. Uh, definitely check it out. Check out uh, the Knife Junkie podcast, episode 164, if you're interested in finding out more about this company. It's a it's a great listen anyway, because uh, Carrie, Carrie Orifice of the of this company is great dude. So there you have it. Oh, almost dropped it. All right, take care. <laughs>